Hello guys, good morning from Berlin. Long time, I know. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? But I'm in Berlin, guys. Nice to meet you again. I'm okay. For those who have been asking, Angie, is everything okay? I'm just waiting for the light to turn green. Everything is okay. There are some things that I've been waiting for. And I think the waiting has just sort of taken a toll on me. And I can say that that is hence the silence. You know, sort of got me a little bit demotivated and the weather also the summer has not been summering like yeah it's summer and i'm still wearing a a sweater although it's a light sweater it's not that bad i mean as long as it's not raining it's a little bit cloudy and it's also relatively warm then it's all not so bad but yeah i'm in berlin i'm in the east side gallery and uh, i arrived last night <laughs> you know the Usia girl in me who is used to traveling 10 hours 8 hours by bus and uh, I have this 49 euro ticket that I can travel around Deutschland ah, I thought you know what because normally my option to come to Berlin is with flick train which is around 4-5 hours but when I checked the flick train was not available the option was bus and bus was taking just the same amount of time that I would travel by train and you know with buses you don't change and the buses are not as comfortable as the trains so I opted <laughs> to be honest I used <laughs> six trains <laughs> I changed to six different like I started by bus and then changed to five more trains um, in fact six more trains because the last train had to we had to again shift to a different train but at the end of the day, I go to Berlin and the good thing is you don't even get tired. The trains are comfortable enough, especially if you get those seats where, you know, four people can sit facing each other and you're alone there. You have enough leg room and you can just stretch yourself and sleep. So now I'm going to the train station and I'm going to cut you guys off because I need to use the maps so that I don't miss it. Yeah, so I'm going to the train station right now. I'm going to the Ausländer Beholde which is the immigration office where I'm supposed to renew my document and then I'll catch up with you guys soon funny story I wanted to take that bus <laughs> because I thought that they need to get me to my destination earlier but the driver told me that the uh, train station is just somewhere in front there Berlin is beautiful guys really <laughs> Berlin is beautiful you know with the taller buildings and all that Duisburg we are used to just you know same level buildings that don't go very high and it's a small city but I still like it Berlin is good for me just to visit because it's just too big it is just too big to, from, to get from point one to point B you are still in the same city you can take a lot of time and yet Duisburg Within one hour, you can have traveled <laughs> two, three different cities. So yes, now I'm going to the train station. Ah, I see. Um, the post sign says there, Ostbahnhof. So that is where I'm going to take the train, the first connection. And then I connect to Berlin Hauptbahnhof, which is the main train station. And then I get to the Ausländer Behorde. But the good thing is, I have an appointment. I will tell you about that later. Catch up. The train station on time. That took me like, let's say, 10 minutes from the hotel where I'm living. And uh, the thing is, like, I am staying for free. Like, I'm st I have four complimentary nights from the company. <laughs> Those are the benefits of working, working for some company. So our company, we have something called test nights. So every year, every employee has six days 
in total that you can spend on uh, hotels that belong to that company in Austria, in uh, Switzerland, and in Germany. Those are the like the three German speaking countries where our company operates and we have a lot of hotels. So usually there is a procedure of course you apply to the highest office and then the request is run down to the manager of that hotel and then through your manager. So I've used four I've booked four of my test nights. I still have two that I can use until the end of the year. Last year I had six, never used any one of them, why ever? But yeah, so I have this nice, 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 nice room and the breakfast was amazing. Maybe tomorrow I'll get to show you the breakfast because today I was really rushing. My appointment is at 10.20 and I was like, oh no, I don't want to take the latest train so I'm going to be there by around 9. I don't want to risk it. The last time I went there to renew my document, I ended up missing the last train that I could take and there was some sort of strike or something like that. I used an Uber. I used an Uber for a distance of more than one hour. I paid uh, almost a hundred euros. It hurt. It hurt. I hate wasting money like that. So this time I said I should manage my time. And also the other thing, I am on three weeks urlaub or vacation. So, hope to catch you up more love these buses you know in berlin they have those yellow buses until i'm asking myself what color is the buses are the buses in what color are the buses what i don't remember what color are the buses in this book i don't really remember but yeah the weather is not so bad as i thought train station really cute and the light is already green I can cross I can cross I can cross I can cross <laughs> I can cross I can cross yeah so this is the train station there's a train already leaving I came um, like I took an earlier train because the thing is with the Deutsche Bahn you know <laughs> the Deutsche Bahn is the German train system if you like estimate the exact time you can be very disappointed because the chances of the trains being late oh my god they are so common like if you have an important appointment never 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 like check the exact you know, train line and check the schedule and see that oh it's leaving at a certain time then you leave at that time you should always like plan to leave one hour earlier because my appointment is at 10 10 20 as i said and i was planning to get there by uh, a train that would have gotten there at 8 56 but now i uh, the train for coming from the ostbahnhof to the berlin hauptbahnhof had a like uh, over 12 minutes delay so by the time i'm getting here on track 14 the train is leaving on track six this train station as you can say is humongous 
with several floors there's no way i could run that fast so because i was not pressed for time i just said eh, let it go so let me now go find this um, truck six i guess yeah so there it shows somewhere there truck five six i got there peacefully wait until <laughs> 956 856 i guess 856 for the next train to come then i go in peace if it delays then i still have some um, yeah if that train like delays then i still have some lead time the only thing that i'm hoping is that the train doesn't fail if it fails it's bad but i guess it won't but if it delays it comes maybe a little bit later so that it arrives there at around maybe 10 minutes late that is still okay because again i've estimated my time well but i'm in berlin and um it was just by luck that i got this appointment you know because before on the Aus uh, ausländer behorde what is it called the immigration office um our immigration office um yeah you needed an a termin an appointment before you could go and uh, renew your document and all that but there was a uh, like a lead time when you go between 9 and uh, and 10 usually on tuesday thursday and friday i guess you could go without an appointment so that last time i went that was the case and i assume that that is still the case like i did not check earlier in advance and then when i now uh, realize that oh, oh it's mid because i usually used to wait until the middle of the month before my document expires which you used to expire after every three months i check maybe middle of the month the month that is a month, uh, gonna expire then i travel to berlin with an, without an appointment and i get it renewed the last time i went there by the grace of god um they gave me six months i was told that yeah you have been with us for a long time now instead of giving you three months we are going to give you six months which was so helpful it was in january and I was given until end of July, which was awesome. So I did, I did not have to make several trips to Berlin, which is really far. And also, you know, you have to sort, take care of your accommodation and all that. But luckily, for me, accommodation um, in Germany, <laughs> um, to book hotels, I have several thousand points that I can book, like um, hotels for free. And this time around, I used the test nets from the company. So anyway, accommodation is not an issue. But just getting the time to come to Berlin, which is several hours away. Anyway, so now um, I, I got into a panic mode because when I, I now realized that it's not possible anymore to renew your document without an appointment, I was like, oh God. Now let me book an appointment. Trying to book an appointment two weeks into the expiration of my document. The next appointment, we are now in July. The next appointment is uh, in uh, October. Not even August, not September. The next appointment online is in October. And I was like, oh my God, because now with an expired document, I'm illegal in the country and I'm not even, and I'm not even allowed to work and several things. It's just, it could have been a mess. So then Mark tells me, why don't you then um, contact uh, the lady, like your, 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 your contact person, the one that you usually communicate with in matters relating to documents. So I wrote an email to this lady telling her, hey, my document, uh, there are some documents that I've been expecting, you know, from Kenya, which is the case, and they have delayed to come. And uh, now I need to renew my, um, my stay permit and i'm requesting if you can book me an appointment before the end of the month no and behold i think that was on the 16th to be precise she gave me an appointment sorry please note there may be organized groups of beggars in the state please look after your valuables and don't give them any money <laughs> so so yeah that was the case um she gave me an appointment I, that was on the 16th that i wrote the email she gave me an appointment for the 26th which is today and i am so grateful so the only thing is now for me to get there on time i am so 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 grateful that i got that appointment even though for many people then it could be impossible especially if you don't have some something called an unsprech partner like uh, a contact person 
so for me I have a, a, a contact uh, person when I have any matters relating to immigration issues I usually contact this lady and she is so supportive she is the one who prevented me from getting <laughs> uh, deported the other time when uh, uh, the, 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 the decree was given that I'm not supposed to be in this country, should be deported, and she defended me. Some people are just like God sent, really angels from God, and she is one of those people, and I just, I thank God for her. Really, I thank God for her. And um, normally, the Auslander Behode, uh, when I say the Auslander Behode, guys, now you understand that I mean the uh, immigration office. Um, when I went there the first time, the people that were already in that immigration office there and that, that were connected to that immigration office, they call it Heavenland. And it's, it's indeed heaven. It's called Heavenland, but uh, it's indeed Heavenland because their services are just really superb. They are fast, they are considerate, they are awesome. Awesome. The way they process my, my, my documents very fast allowed me to work. Gave me all the documents that I needed to work with. So you did have heaven land to have to now, uh, like move from there. Uh, I know we'll have to, but it will be like uh, I would have just been happy to remain there. But you can only remain registered there if you live there. Once I get like my um, now my residency permit, then I need to be registered in, an, in the city that I live in. But okay, I guess you get that point, guys. Now, so let's go to heaven land. Guys, so this is Heavenland. It may not look like so, but yeah. So everything went well. I got here on time. Thanks be to God. I got here on time, I think 15 minutes before my appointment. And I was let in, of course. I got my document extended for another six months, which was so good because sometimes I hear that people get six months and then the next time you go you might get three months and then you get one month it's just it depends but i got my document extended without any issues for another six months so until at the end of january next year then i don't have to stress over it so yeah that's the update everything went well um the only thing is that by the time i was living there it was six minutes before the next train goes back to berlin and in this area it's like a village yeah it is a village um the trains come only once every hour so if you miss one you have to wait one hour for the next one so that's why i'm just walking slowly i tried to rush but i just i saw that it was not worth it i was not gonna catch the train anyway today is the day that i wished that <laughs> the train had a delay if it had delayed for about maybe three four minutes then i would have made it but it's okay i don't have anything yes planned after all after this it's just maybe go back to my room and chill and um try to edit you know a video on my phone and get on get on with the day i wanted to visit a friend um who stays here in berlin you have seen her on my previous videos but yeah she has some 
things planned today so we may not be meeting today maybe tomorrow i'm still in berlin for the weekend and then prob probably on monday on monday morning again i start my long journey of seven eight hours back to this book as i said i'm on leave so time is all that i have I have so much time in my hands so i don't really need to rush and if i have a a ticket a monthly ticket that already covers my ticket back to uh, to this book then i see no reason why i should waste money buying like an ice ticket or something like that i really don't like wasting money knowing like how tough things are back at home and how that money that I can spare from buying a ticket can make a difference. Um, do one, two, three things at home. I, 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 that mentality I can never leave it. I mean, I don't like deny myself, you know, all the time. But if I can spare, if I can sacrifice and instead of buying another ticket, when I already have a ticket, then I do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. So this was it. This was just me. Um, actually going to get my document renewed it went well there was no threat of oh you know you're supposed to leave you know like the last time I was there in January everything was okay I got a six months extension and it is my hope and prayer that by the time I come back to this uh, Auslander Behorde like in Auslander Behorde basically means foreigner's office by the time i come back to this foreigner's office then it will be for a totally different reason and not for extension of this so-called duty so nice to see you guys and don't forget to leave a like comment share subscribe see you in another video cheers